The holiday magic continues. Today we are talking notebooks, Microsoft Fabric, and Copilot on Tales from the Field. Everybody just do your thing. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. This is your first time finding your way over to Tales from the Field. Give us a like and give us a subscribe. We drop content every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. On Monday, we have our MS Tech Bits. On Tuesday, we have our Azure Data Community Roundtable, where we feature content from the Azure Data Community for the Azure Data Community. And then on Wednesday, we have another MS Tech Bits. That's a video where we've been inspired by you, the product group, the community, a customer we work with, and we share that knowledge with you. This is one of those videos right now. Let's get right over to that great content. Heading over to the documentation, we're going to look at use Copilot for data science and data engineering chat panel. A couple things that we really need to keep in mind, and this documentation has all that good stuff in there. So first, a note, prerequisite, Copilot in Fabric is currently rolling out in public preview, should be available to everyone by the end of March 2024. To use Copilot in data science, your Fabric admin must uh, enable it in the administrative portal, and you have to have an F64. You also have to have access to OpenAI and GPU has to be available in your environment. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to play around with chat magics in Microsoft Fabric Notebooks. This stuff is so cool. So here's a great idea of what we're going to do. We're going to do this in the notebook sills. We're going to do instant query and code generation, data frame descriptions, commenting and debugging. Enough talking about it. You know what we want to do. Let's go do it. All right, so I'm over in my Fabric workspace and we're starting in my lake house, my baseball lake house, and I've got my movie info. I'm going to make a new notebook to show you how easy this is to be able to use Copilot. First thing we're going to do, we're going to click on Copilot. Now it's going to open up a window. We're going to click the add to notebook. And the reason what we're going to do this is we have to install the chat magics and we also have to get the pip install for the different Python commands to be able to support what we're going to do. Now, a quick note, when this finishes loading, we're going to get a nice little statement and we want to make sure we read this. Uh, it lists what we are sharing, what we're not sharing, but also different commands, what we're using underneath the covers, ways to be able to restrict sharing, um, and then some of those additional commands that we're going to play with, some that we're not going to play with today. I need data, so let's go get my movie info. What I want to figure out is I want to figure out some movie info data having to do uh, with box office. Is there a correlation between the number of theaters we're in and the box office uh, total aggregate sum that we get per theater? Uh, I don't know. So I'm going to take out the top 1,000. I want all of my movie data. Some of this is a little bit older. It may not have some of the newest stuff in there, but we got a lot of great movies. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my copilot and I'm going to say code, my magic command code, removed at the dollar signs, the comma and white space from average theater column, because I know all of my data is text. You can see that ABC up there. Place that value in a new column called average per theater value and append it to the previous data frame. Uh, the data type for average per, the average per theater should remain a string. Uh, display the top 10 rows. I also want to do this. You know what? I'm going to need to do this for the theater count because I can see my average theater and my theater count column, both ABCs. So let me append to this string and I'm going to add a little bit more on here. And I'm going to say, uh, let's display the top 10 rows, but let's do the same actions for theater count column and place the results in a new column called total theaters. Keep the data as a string. Magic. There we go. So it generated the code for us. So let's go ahead and access this. But remember, an AI can make mistake. So this didn't work. But how do we fix it? Well, with another magic command, uh, what we're going to use is we're going to use whack wax fix underscore errors. And when this runs, what this is going to do is it's going to take a look at our code and we should get a more magic. Wow. Look at this. It fixed it. It found what was wrong. Um, it found that the F was not defined. We needed to import PySpark functions as F. My data is in there. We're good to go. I still haven't written any code, by the way. I've just used plain text to be able to fix these things. Now I'm going to say in another data frame, convert the average per theater um, to a numeric value and append it to the DF data frame, retaining all the columns, replace the average theater columns, 
Uh, I also want to do the same action for the total theater column, because remember, I need these as numeric values for me to be able to display them in a chart the way that I want to. More magic. I've got my code. Now let's see. We're off to the races. Everything's working this fine this time. I've got my numeric values. Now I can begin to ask the questions about the data I really want to. So code. Summarize total theaters column by movie title in the DF data frame. Create a bar chart of the top 10 films by max total theaters. Display the movie title as part of the chart. More magic. Ooh, and let's see. Does this run? chart magic. Oh, talk about a great holiday season. So I can see that Avengers Endgame had the most theaters that was released in, Despicable Me 3, Jurassic Park Kingdom. I would expect that these would also be the movies that have the top per theater count. So I'm going to summarize the average per theater value column by uh, data frame. I want to create a bar chart of the top 10 films. Oh, there we go. More magic. And let's see. More chart magic. Wow. La La Land actually has the highest per theater count. Uh, Avengers Endgame is in there, and there's some other big titles. But I didn't write any code for this. That's right. The magic of Copilot in Notebooks is here, my friends. And wow, is this going to be a game changer. Fix errors, write code. Oh, I can't wait for it. This is going to be a great holiday season. So what did we cover? Well, we covered a lot. The first thing we did was we covered the requirements. You need to make sure that your Fabric Administrator enables Copilot. You need to make sure uh, that you're in an F64 or higher, that it's provision compute, not in the preview. Then on top of that, you also need to make sure that you've got OpenAI enabled and that you're in a region that has GPU capabilities. Once all of that is in place, oh, let the magic begin, my dear fabricators. You can go in, you can open up your notebooks, add your chat magic, and then we can fix errors. We can create charts. We did that whole notebook. And remember, I never typed code. As a matter of fact, when I opened up the data frame, I just loaded it directly by right clicking on the table that I already had in my lake house. This is wonderful stuff and it's going to be game changing. Thank you so much. Uh, you know where we want to keep this going. Send off down in the comments. Is there anything you didn't understand? Any questions you got? We would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for joining us today on Tales from the Field. Take care of one another. Have a great holiday season. Wake Bye, everybody. Up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up.